We're in for a dangerous summer ahead, according to scientists who say the warm winter has built up huge reserves of fire fuel across New South Wales. In the last month alone, the Rural Fire Service has battled more than 1,000 fires. It's fairly intense where we are with embers crossing over. We need to retreat back. Fire crews battle a raging blaze in southern New South Wales at the start of this year. In January alone, fires scorched more than 650,000 hectares across New South Wales. 58 families lost their homes. After one of our warmest winters on record, grass cover is thick, prompting experts to warn conditions are ripe for another busy bushfire season. The recent conditions, both rainfall and temperatures, do play a very important part, uh, particularly because what uh, th they... Uh, uh, they provide uh, uh, grass and growth for grass. This map prepared by the Bushfire Cooperative Research Centre gives us a clear picture. The large band of pink covering much of New South Wales shows areas expected to have above average fire activity this summer. So it is a real wake up call, not just for, for, for us, but also for the residents, as I said, to do that preparation now before we start moving into the warmer and hotter months of, of, of summer. The RFS has been working around the clock to complete hazard reduction burns. At the moment we're completing around about 100 a week. Uh, look, we're trying to do as much as we can. Uh, we need the residents to do as much as they can. But if you are undertaking your own, you must notify the authorities first. Already this season there has been 350 escaped hazard reductions. The RFS is urging every household to have a bushfire survival plan ready now, before it's too late. Antonia Morrow, Prime 7 News.